Welcome back to another. Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode. Wacom Taxes. Wacom Taxes. Yep, that's right. Not Texas, Taxes. Because it is here in America, it is tax season. And it's very taxing to sit here with Jay Myers. All right. Well, okay. I'm Chris Kerr. And I'm Jay Myers. And we're going to show you a couple quick tips on how to save money during tax season. We're going to show you how to fill out a 1040A form. Uh, also, a quicker version of that is 1040EZ. Now, we're going to be talking some tax terms, so if you need to, go ahead and put this on pause and look up the, the terms we're talking about. One, for example, would be get your Pub17. Pub17 will help you out. It'll be all the different uh, codes and changes within this past year. You can pick those up from your local library, and actually, you can take those home with you and keep them. So that's kind of cool. So we're really going to be flying through here. We're going to look at first the W-2, which we've got filled out here on screen. You should be getting these from your employer. Is that right? I don't. I have an account that does my taxes. I also, you're, you're going to hear a lot of nerd speak, and you'll notice that I'm not going to be talking much. You're going to be talking a little bit because you got to help me out. Okay. Because so you know, as you guys know, this is not easy work. <laughs> you can use TurboTax. You can use all these online uh, stuff, but you know, when it comes down to it, you got to know a little bit about it just to get through this. So, yeah, and um, one thing to know going into this, you don't have to be honest exactly because you'll get less money back if you're honest. Well, right? you should be honest because you can get audited by the IRS. It's rare. It, it's very rare. Well, for I actually think you're right. It probably is well, rare. I wouldn't suggest lying. I'm not saying per lying, se. exaggerating yeah, a bit. Maybe. Charitable contributions, you can exaggerate a bit. You probably won't get caught. Well, probably won't get caught. And okay, you have a moral obligation to the United States to help out your fellow man. Do you want a road or do you not want a road? You want a road leading up to your house? That's actually, well, then be fair with the IRS. That's actually a good point. You know, they're your buddies. They're paying for the, you know, the police. Yeah, they're very understanding. Okay, okay. so we've got the W-2. Quickly take a look at your own W-2 that you get from your employer, and you're going to hop on over to your 1040A form. Now, this form leads to a lot of other worksheets, and it gets really complicated really fast. We're going to kind of keep it simple. Now, what you're going to do is you refer back to your W-2s, and you're basically filling in the blanks for the most part. Can I, so can we've I got one yeah. One interesting thing here is that both of our fathers are accountants. This is true and I will probably I wasn't done yet. Okay. And so basically we have two lifelines. So if we get stuck at any time in this process, our dads are standing by uh, waiting for us to call with any questions we might have. And he's actually not kidding. Our dads are our accountants. It's true. Um it's kind of funny both of them are. Yeah. Mine and yours. Um, different states. Different states, that's same. right. So we can maybe get a little help from, uh, you know, my home state, Missouri, and your home state, um, Alabama. Right? Uh, Kentucky. Kentucky. Yep. No, I thought you said you were from Arkansas or Alabama, one no, of the A not. states. Okay. Arizona, yeah. maybe. No. All K right, so. K no, you missed. I said K state. Okay, K state. A yeah, that K state is actually Kansas. That's the college there or some K state. Okay. Anyways, uh, we, okay, so let's go. We got Chris Kerr here. We're filling out the names at the beginning. You all know your own names, so just fill it in. We're going to be doing an example. Oh, it's your dad talking now. My Ooh. dad wants to call. Okay. All right, so let's Take just, an answer. Let's, yeah. We're going to get some help from accountant mm. right away. Hey, Dad. Hey, there. Hey, I got you on speak. I couldn't hear you. I was in with a bunch of loud little kids. Oh, that's okay. I'm out of there now. Hey, hey, we're filming a show about taxes, and we're wondering if you could help us out with the 1040A form. I told everybody... I told. I do the 1040. Oh. I, well, I told everybody no. you're a professional accountant, but I guess... I guess not. Well... No. Yeah. Well, taxes are my weak point. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. Well, you heard it there. Well, that works. <laughs> yep. All right. Th all right. Thanks, Dad. Okay. Okay. Bye. All right. Well, well one lifeline down. So that wasn't much help at all. We haven't really even started. We already got. Lo we already <laughs> lost a lifeline. So that just we we can get. That's not. Stuff. That's not typically my father. It was kind of weird that he shut me down like that. So oh, well. yeah, that's not. Just want everybody to know my dad's usually very, uh, very helpful, but apparently... It's tax season. He's it's tax getting, season. He's, he's busy. Getting he's stressed. Okay, so let's go here. We got a joint uh, spouse's name. So you put your spouse's first name. I don't have one. An initial. All right. N-A. So I don't know, actually, if you fill out N-A if you don't have one. I think you just leave it blank. But, you well, know, but try it. See what happens. Don't scratch things out. Don't scratch that, things out. No, 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 no. You should. Flag and audit. No, you should totally probably scratch that out, but it's okay. Yeah. Uh, last name for the spouse. What's spouse's last name? Kerr. Okay. 
Right, because if you had a spouse, you know, here in America, for some reason, it's, yeah. it's tradition to take the, the male's last name, uh, which is changing, you know, times are changing. So mm-hmm. home address, I don't know if we really want to share that information. Uh, what we, I like to do is put home, because they, they have it from previous tax returns. They okay, know. so I they can move. just, yeah, that makes sense. Apartment number, you live in, uh, no, you don't live in an apartment. Uh, I live on a street. It'd be kind of fun to put one on there, you know, because it's a house, but it'd be fun because you're number one apartment. Watch this. Oh, one. Oh, one. Yeah, that's good. (laughs) Okay, so the city uh, and state, of course, is Wakeham, Texas. I live in negative one. Okay, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Nobody, the IRS account's like, what? (laughs) What? Give him a little something fun to laugh at. Yeah, like. All right, we got to keep going. Okay, so, uh, all right, so now we got to fill this out. So, according to, I got some workbooks here that I'm looking at. Because we're going to have to look at if you're, are you fair, married, filing jointly, you're single, you're under 65, you're, uh, so I got a little worksheet sheet here, gross income filing requirements for 2012 non-dependents. Now, if you're single, under the age of 65, you, uh, you are required to f- file if gross income is 9750 So... We're not going to tell you how much we make, but we're saying for the sake of today, if you take a look at our W-2s, you know, excuse me, sorry, oh. that's my fault. If you look at our W-2s, we're making $1 million. We thought that's kind of fun to act one like million a million dollars. Yeah, $1 million and one. So we are obviously going to have to file this year because Something. he makes over 9750 happen. Oh, no, I'm wrong sheet. So that's number two. We're on number one here. So we are going to have to file, so this is going to be uh, you know appropriate. Um, now, if we look at your... Uh, your uh, your you know, form here. Line? No, I don't need a lifeline yet. So we've got boxes checked on six A and six B line uh, exemptions. Uh, so we we don't ha- you don't have any depend. Do you have a dependent? You had- yeah. Okay. So I have two uh, see this dependent. Babies. So you're writing exemptions yourself. Six A, I think. You should I check. Oh no, see. filing status. I'll file. I can yourself. I can, I can claim myself. Yeah, let, get up, pick it up, and go up there to single because you're filing single. Now I don't know if you're head of a household. That's a well, ladies sheet, out but. there. I'm not really single. Um, I actually have well, according to the state of you know Texas, you are. That's how we're filing. I don't know why it Texas doesn't, doesn't matter. Recognize girlfriends. But. Well, girlfriends don't really matter when it comes to the IRS. They don't right. care mostly because they might not have any. Okay. Go to dependents. You're going to write in your dependents here. Your name, the first name and last name. Can you see that form? I can't write. All right. So you might need to get your reading glasses, folks. It's giz- Gizzo, Gizzard. Gizzard Kerr is my um, chihuahua. All right. My, my well, youngest I, son. Okay, hold on. I can look here in a worksheet again to see if your dependents qualified as a child here. I don't think a dog does. Getting the best science diet food so, there is. Definitions of the following. Um, let's see. Conclu- um, who is a dependent? What is a qualifying child? Relationship, age, residency, support, and joint return. That's how they you're going to... They don't have a social. They have um, a rabies tag see, number. I, I, I don't have that on me. I, I, now I think we're getting... Okay, we're get, it's getting a little crazy. You know what? I don't... I'm pretty sure... Your lifeline? Yeah, I'm pretty sure your dog doesn't count as a, uh, as a don't dependent. Don't call him a dog. Call myself. All right, here. Let's... let's. If odd, utter... No, if, age seventeen. If child not, under. Yeah, are they yeah, under seventeen? Yeah, they are under seventeen. So you check actually. that form. Now, bo- okay, well, I'm already getting confused. And we're not even dog years. We'll keep. We'll keep moving through. Okay. Well, we got a lot of. Because right. you, you can see that. Um, so tax boxes form checked on six A and six B. You've got. It looks like one. One. So that first one up there, that first little box to the right, is one. Okay. So lived with you. So you got. You're trying to claim your dog, so you're gonna put three because yourself and your dogs, I think. Yeah. Now add numbers, so go down, next box is zero, zero, add there. So that should be four. Add numbers on lines above. So you got one plus three equals four. Now you know we're what? at line seven. Line you know seven. What? We got a problem. Yeah. I had um, other sons that actually, my cats have passed away last year. Can I still claim During them? During the year? I'm going to change. That's a really difficult question. Right. I'm going to leave it alone then. Okay. But we need to, maybe I can file for an extension. Yeah, we might okay. have to. Okay, Let's so go going. to number Let's seven. Number right. seven, you're going to put in your on your W-2. So yeah. we had $1 million and $1. So you're going to have to write $1 million in there. You had to write real small. Now, I don't think the IRS recognizes uh, the commas there. I don't I don't think they that deal with commas or periods. information would have been good to know. Um, yeah. Hold on. Tax, whoa, wait, what are you doing? You can't fill out. Okay, hold on. So uh, I got a real bad headache. 
Text 9A. 9A here. Ordinary dividends attached. Schedule B if required. Qualified dividends. 9A. Tax do not include line 8A. We're on 9A. Boredom alert. Me, me, I don't me, understand me. what to put there. I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. If I put 9A, 9A would be... <sighs> okay, it's 250. I know. People sit tight out there. We've got answers so for you. So we don't have a dividends and distribution copy B, do we, for you? Or a 1099 DIV form? I've got nothing. You didn't put any. You didn't have any investments last year, did you? No. Okay, so put zero there. So now we're going to do line 10, taxable refunds, credits, or offsets of state and local income taxes. You don't have any taxable refunds. You didn't receive any alimony, line 11. I got nothing. So we're going to do no IRA, no tax. Wow, that form looks different than my workbook here. Okay. So t line 13, capital gross. Is that right? For line 13, capital gross. No, unemployment compensation. Oh, what? I can't oh, keep a man, job? Oh, man, I think I'm looking at the EZ form. This is a 1040A. I can keep a job. Okay, hold on. We do have some worksheets here to decide if you have. In, oh man, well, let's just tweet. Okay, we'll tweet the let's, let's call. I'm, I'm call my dad. I got a real bad headache, and I can't. I don't know what to do. Oh, what's your here? Type that in. Yeah. Pass password protected phone here. Yep. Yeah. So better safe than sorry. Yeah, good thing you didn't say it out loud. We don't want people. Uh, uh, All right, now I gotta me. see if I gotta go back to. Okay, well. You call? Yeah, I gotta find find the number. I had it written down here. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay, I got it here. So, don't burn out my minutes either. Let's just try and make this, you know, try and try and well, get Well, it might have to take a little bit just because okay. I'm not really sure how to do this. It's long distance, that's all I'm saying. Hey, Dad. This is Jay. So, so we're trying to fill out some 1040A forms, and I've got a real bad headache, and I can't figure this out. We're on... Well, that's just too bad. Well... I'm, I'm swamped, man. Oh. He's not going to help us? So, we've got... Okay. I've got these Somalian pirates that are after me because they owe a bunch of money. I've got to figure out how to... Oh, man. Yeah. Well, okay, what's... Yeah, we can't beat we can't beat that. That's a pretty good excuse right there. Well, all right. Well, we'll we'll keep hammering away. Maybe I'll give you a call a little bit later. Uh, all right. I'll, all right. I'll probably be up. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks. I love you. Bye. Bye. I love you. Bye. I said thanks, but it wasn't really that helpful. But no. I still felt the need to say thanks because your dad. Well, both our fathers were not very helpful. <laughs> Which uh, is out of character. It's out of character for our fathers. They're, they're typically very helpful. There's a lot of lines left, but basically you guys can kind of figure it out. So it's fill in the blanks from this point on. This is why I usually get an account. Okay. Well, hold on. I, we can figure this out. I know, you know, I could call my, my brother as an accountant as well. <sighs> call him. We just call it quits. I we don't could know. Tweet. We could t actually, we could send a series of tweets to you guys filling out each different number. Or, it might be easier. Yeah, how many lines are the total? We could just kind of fake uh, it. There's probably only like 30 more. There's a total of. Oh and they don't gosh, read. Dude. The IRS doesn't read every 45 single 45 lines. The IRS doesn't read every line on every form. Well, I think the most possible. important thing is, is really at, at line 37. Let's see, this didn't even match my worksheet. Yeah, we're, we've got some problems here. Well, I would say the line, really, your the main thing is amount of line 42 you want return <laughs> refunded to you. No, line. No. Line 43A is what you need. Works for difficult. Line 43A, just this is what you want. You, you want your refund? Just just put in whatever you want for a refund. What do you want? I like that idea. I, I, don't, I don't know. I can't figure this out. This is too well, many if lines. it's a million, we should get at least 30 grand back. 30 oh, grand back. Right here? Right. Line 43A, it looks like. Refunded to you. You want amount of line oh, 42 yeah, you want refunded to you. To make, um, we want to make odd numbers. So I'll put thirty-one. So you, we're supposed to say how much we overpaid and then how much we want refunded, but we want we want thirty-one. Re That's a good point, actually, that I just had. Keep odd numbers because then you're less likely to clue the IRS off. But so write like thirty-one seventy-seven, twenty fifty-nine. Right, that way it looks like an error versus actually. Um, well, that looks like you're cooking the books. No, it looks like you actually used a calculator to add a bunch of things up, and it didn't accidentally come to a whole number. That's actually pretty good. It's pretty good. <clears throat> pretty good, right? I seriously do have a headache. I don't know. I gotta sign it, right? You know, yeah. I should probably sign. You this. probably should sign paid preparer, or sign here. It says there towards the bottom, the big arrow. 
Maybe you guys should just maybe you know talk to an accountant. Double check your work. I think it'd be a little easier, people. Uh, I don't know though. Our luck talking to accountants today wasn't very good either. So you know, good luck out there. It's tax season. It's brutal. Good luck. I'm gonna put Valentine's Day. Oh, that's good. It's coming up. Oh, it's two fourteen fourteen. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. All right, folks. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Good luck. 214, 14, 14 plus 14 is 28. That's a, There's some accounting for you. Yeah, and there's 28 days in February. Done. Dude. Wake on Texas. Texas.